Hey guys, I'm here with a Gemini FTK combo tutorial. I've got a two card FTK and two three card FTKs I'd like to show you. Uh, some of the cards in the three card FTKs are interchangeable, so it's not just whatever I show. It'll be that and then like another ten cards in the deck which can be substituted for that. So first of all, I'm going to start with a two card combo. So what you, what you need is to have a brilliant fusion and then any gem knight and it is the easiest combo and let's get into it so you actually bring fusion you send block dragon and another gem knight i'm just gonna go with tourmaline again to summon your zarconia then you normal summon your Tormaline, Link 2, into Gem Knight Phantom Quartz, then Quartz Effect to activate, allowing you to search for your Gem Knight Fusion. So that's your hand. Uh, you banish the three Gem Knights in Grave for Black Dragon Special Summon. Then effect of quartz, shuffle the three back into deck to fusion summon your Lady Brunette Diamond. In the furthest column, uh, you can't summon it in the middle column because with a combo you need to have that middle column that three later on. So either summon it to this zone or to this zone. And then you link to. What I like to do is then link it over here so I know to move my combo this way. Uh, then Block Dragon's effect will activate, allowing you to search for a Obsidian, a Lapis, and a Crystal Rose. From here, you use Gemini Fusion, fuse away the Lapis and the Lambda to make Seraphonite. Then for additional normal summon, you normal summon the rose, effect the rose, send a Lazuli to copy its name, and Lazuli's effect will add this back to hand. And so now since it's copied its name, uh, you can now link two into another Phantom Quartz. From here, you banish your Seraphonite to special summon your Crystal Rose. Then you banish your Lazuli to add back your Gem Knight Fusion. Then you activate Gem Knight Fusion. Fuse enough to these two to make Lady Lapis. Then effect Obsidian Special Summon Lapis. From here, this is where you get your extra Earth because with a normal combo, you don't get all your Earths and Grave, and you're always short by one. So you link into Link Spider, then link that off for Secure Gardener. This means you've got an extra Earth and Grave, and you can actually get a draw off of uh, the Unicorn, which is very nice. Uh, you can use Effective Rose to send another Lazuli. Effective Lazuli add us back to hand again, because we love non hard ones per turn effects. We banish 1, 2, 3 for Block Dragon. Special summon up there. Then effect to Lady Lapis. Send a copy of itself. So you've burnt your opponent for 3k. Effect to Lady Brilliant. Send this to Grave. To then special summon the Master Diamond. The effect of Master Diamond to banish the Lapis. To copy its effect. Then effect to send a Gem Knight from deck or extra deck to burn. So, send another Tourmaline. So, your opponent is taking 6k at this point. So, now you use Gemma Fusion's effect, banish your Quartz to add it back to hand. Then you link the Blood Dragon and the Quartz into a Unicorn. Then use the Unicorn's effect to sh shuffle your Master back into the extra deck. You do get a draw, but it doesn't matter in this situation. 
then you use Gem Knight Fusion to banish your Tormoon to add Gem Knight Fusion back to hand. Activate Gem Knight Fusion, use this for the Lapis in hand and the Lady Brilliant for the Master Diamond again. And now you should have three Earths in Grave to banish for Blood Dragon. And then you use Master Diamond's effect to banish the last Lady Lapis to then burn for the remaining 2k. And see that we have no more Earths left in Grave, so if we didn't use the Secure Gardener, we wouldn't have enough Earths to do the full combo. So that's the two card combo with Brilliant Fusion and any Gem Knight. Uh, you can also use left arm in that situation, just normal summon your gem knight and then left arm for brilliant fusion. So the second combo requires a rescue rabbit, a vanilla gem knight, so this or tourmaline, and then obsidian or the fusion. So in this situation I'm gonna go for obsidian. So what you do is normal summon your rabbit effect to rabbit banish and in this situation whatever gem that you have in hand with vanilla you get the opposite so in this situation you go for two tourmaline then you link one for a link spider effect to link spider to special out lapis then here you make a link to for the quartz Effect a quartz to then search for your fusion So at this point if you've got the fusion you search for obsidian If you've got the obsidian you search for fusion Then you gem light fusion Quartz and your obsidian For your zirconia Effect obsidian Then specials out your tourmaline from grave And now here since you have a thunder, a rock and a cyburst or earth you make yourself a curious. Then a curious effect on summon so it sends block dragon from deck to grave. And then you banish three to summon the block dragon. What I like to do here is banish two gem knights and then the link spider, because then I can banish another gem knight for, for a fusion. So banish the link spider and two gem knights. Special out your block dragon, then banish your quartz to add this back to hand. So here you make your lambda block dragon with effect to activate. Searching your crystal rose, gemite lapis, and a gemite obsidian. So here is a lot like the other combo where you just make your surf knight. Additional normal summon for your rose effects and the lazuli to then add lapis back to hand. Link for another for quartz. Now, here you use quartz effect to fusion summon, so shuffle them three back to summon your the master diamond again. So here you banish your Seraph Knight to special your rose in the furthest column. Then you banish your Lazuli to add the Gem Knight Fusion back to hand. Fuse the Obsidian and Lapis in hand. So you make the Lady Lapis. Effect Obsidian then specials out the Lapis. And then you banish three for Black Dragon. So with the com this route of the combo, uh, you do mill the three off of cures, so if you do mill at earth, it makes a combo that's uh, simpler, but it's not putting that into the relevance of this combo, because this is all you need. So here you use the Lady Lapis effect, send a copy of itself to burn 3k, an effect of Lady Diamond, tag that out for the Master Diamond effect. Copy the Lady Lapis, then effect to send the Lazuli to Grave. 
to an add loss back to hand. So at this point, your opponent has burnt for 6k. So when you banish your Lazuli to add the fusion back to hand, you lay in Coffee Bot Dragon and your Quartz for your Unicorn. And then your Unicorn, discard your Fusion. Actually, no, in this situation, yeah. No, you discard your Lapis because we haven't used a Rose again. Let's put this back to the edge deck. And use Rose Effect. To send Lazuli to Grave to an add Lapis back to hand. So now you use Gen Light Fusion. Fuse off this, this, and this. For your Master Diamond. Effect of Block. Oh, not the effect, the condition of Block Dragon to Summon. Banish 3 to Special Summon itself. And then Effect of Master Diamond. Banish the last Lady Lapis and burn for the remaining 2k. So here you got have two more Earths and Grave, so you don't need to mill off a Curious. So that is one of the three card combos I wanted to show you. So for the third one, it requires Rescue Rabbit, a Block Dragon, and either a Gem Knight or the Gem Knight Fusion. So you need the rabbit, the block dragon, and then we'll go with the uh, go for a tormenting again. So in this situation, block dragon can be substituted out for a foolish burial. It can be like a tormenting can be for any gem knight, and the rabbit can also be substituted out for. It won't be a free card, but for any gem knight plus a unexpected die because you would unexpected die and then your normal summon that means you link two which then still is full combo so it works it just means you have to use one extra card so got these three cards so we go normal summon rabbit use the effect of rabbit to then summon two tourmaline I always like to summon Tormenin because you can't search off a block dragon and you need to search Lapis. So at any point you have to go into Curious and you mill your last Lapis. It is very rough. So you special these two. You link two for your Quartz. Effect a Quartz to search for your Fusion. So if you already have a Fusion, you'd search the, another Gem Knight. And if you already got the Gem Knight, you search for a Fusion. So then here, block dragon, special summon, by banishing three gem knights. And then use quartz effect, shuffle the three back into deck. Then special summon lady brilliant diamond. So from here, it's just normal combo, I think these are two or four lambda. Block dragon effect, so it is one, two, three. Then you'd fuse off your Lapis and your Lambda for your Seraphonite. Additional normal you rolls effect to send the Lazuli. And then you've seen this all before. Lazuli adds back to hand. Oh, Lazuli adds Lapis back to hand. Link these two off for another Quartz. Banish Seraphonite to summon the Rose. Banish the Lazuli to add the fusion. Gem Knight Fusion, these two away again. For Lady Lapis, Effect Obsidian, Special Summon the Lapis. And then you'd Link Spider, and then you'd Secure Gardener. I just like to do this, even if I've got enough Earths, just because it's a it's a protection in case you miscount or if yeah, the hand traps you. It gives you that search of, of the draw off of Unicorn which can come in very useful. 
So when you hear you banish one, two, three, to special summon your Brock Dragon. Effect to Lady Lapis, summon Love Copy itself. To burn 3k, effect, attack this turn. For the Master Diamond, effect, copy, and effect, summon the Zuli to add Lapis back to hand. Then you'd link off the quartz and the block for the unicorn. Effect pitch your lapis to add us back to the extra deck. And you do get a draw here, but in this situation it doesn't matter. Then you would use the effect of those. Send another lazuli and effect add lapis back to hand. And you banish that Lazuli to then add your fusion back to hand. And then you gem that fusion one more time. Follow Rose, Lapis, and Relay Brilliant because Rose has copied the name for a Master Diamond. And then, if I'm not mistaken, you have enough Earths in the graveyard to banish for Block Dragon. And then you would copy the effect with Master Diamond for that last 2k. And since we have one more Earth in Grave, we don't need to use a secure Gardener play. But I always like it more as a as a safety cushion. Because if you miscount or if you don't, like if you think you got it and you don't, it comes back to bite you. And it, it's happened to me a few times. So shout out to Distant Coder for showing me this. And that'll be the three main combos I normally do to get the full FTK. Uh, comment any questions or if you want me to go through any different combos with this deck, I'll happily do that. And give me suggestions of what you want to see next. Right, peace out, guys.